Today I'll be reviewing two iconic jackets. This uh, American flight jacket. That's my uh, normal camping jacket. The other one that I also occasionally use is this Soviet Army Yellow Greika. It's a boat, kind of uh, same waist length padded jackets. Both old designs. This uh, MA1 bomber from the 50s and uh, Yellow Greika Soviet from the early 30s. There's a Russian 1939 Winter War POW in Finland. He's wearing the Yellow Greika. But the first one to be reviewed be this bomber jacket as I'm wearing it. The other layer of, of this jacket is nylon, so it's uh, pretty water resistant. And uh, we got a uh, we got knit cuffs and uh, knit collar and uh, knit waistband and uh, we got a good heavy duty zipper and uh, we got two snap closer pockets outside and uh, two two inside and uh, we got this pencil pocket and like you saw the lining it's it's orange so i can uh, reverse this jacket to signal to any rescuers if if need be the soviet chilogreka this and, and the ma1 are both warm jackets the outer layer of of this Yellow Greika, it's cotton, so it's not so water resistant as the MA1's skin. And five buttons to close this thing, and a better collar than the MA1 has. This is a standing collar fitting up around your neck, and uh, the sleeves can be buttoned closed and uh, you know the weakness of this jacket are these pockets let me show you two very very small open pockets there's also an internal chest pocket it's small and open I almost forgot to mention this has this back belt so you can tighten it up you know this jacket somehow represents typical Soviet mentality. It has to be easy to manufacture, low cost, bomb proof, no matter the aesthetics. I, uh, <laughs> I guess no wonder the fashion industry has not adapted this, this jacket. Let's see the label for anyone interested. Now I'm thinking to do a little science that'll be a, a little later at home. I want to see how well these jackets insulate. That used to be a cup of hot water without any protection. That was our control and the starting temp. It was uh, 37 degrees Celsius like your party temp and uh, after 20 minutes in this zero degree temperature. Our uh, cup of water is now very badly hypothermic. 18 degrees Celsius. Actually, it's dead. The temp is less than 20 degrees, so you're dead. At 28, you become unconscious. Now the same starting temp, this time protected by yellow Greika. Let's do it. Of course the cup of water doesn't generate any heat as your body would, but uh, let's see. Okay, after 20 minutes uh, 33 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's try the other jacket.
bummer after 20 minutes it's uh, 30 degrees celsius so the russian yellow gray car body warmer it won no uh, no doubt about it this bummer jacket this is uh, made by Alpha Industries, the original contractor for the US Army. Okay, thanks for watching.